steering wheel fell off. Today on Wrench Fest Garage, we're gonna take this body and put it on this frame. Before I put this body on the F450 frame, we're gonna go ahead and paint it, at least the firewall and the floor underneath, because I'm gonna have access to it. It's just gonna be a whole lot easier right now. So let's get after it. thing we're gonna do is unbolt this bed, pull it off, and set it off to the side. How many bolts are there? I think I got, there should be eight, but I think I got six in it. All right, there's the first bolt out. Let's see if we can get the second bolt out. There's the second bolt. All right, so this is the third bolt. I didn't put these in very tight, because uh, I knew this bed was gonna come off sooner or later. So yeah, this, this should be pretty easy. Shouldn't have said that, because now it's going to be really hard. Nothing better than tasting 45 year old dirt and mud. Mm. Okay, I think there's two clear of the back that are probably going to be problematic. Didn't you just say this is going to be easy? <laughs> 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 What did you say a minute ago? They didn't have them very tight. So this is gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. They're loose. Should probably have some safety glasses on, but nah. I think I reached the maximum weight limit of this creeper. It's letting me know. It's kind of squeaking. <laughs> there should actually be eight bolts holding this on, but when whoever extended the frame, they didn't get the bolt holes lined up. And so I just never bothered to put all eight of them in. So if we got six, this should be the last one. Then we gotta rig it up, pull it off, and hopefully not tip it over, do something stupid. I don't have any wires or anything hooked up to this, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. So this is the filler neck, and I've got it unscrewed, but the hose is so stiff, it doesn't really wanna come out. So I'm hoping as we lift it up, it'll come off or It'll make a big mess, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Borrowed this forklift from work. We're gonna rig it up and pull off that bed. So the idea here is to do the least damage possible to this bed because that's just stuff I'm gonna have to fix down the road. Hopefully these straps are strong enough. I'm really scared that you're gonna take a wrong step and just tip the whole bed off while you're in it. Because it's moving a lot. It's a possibility. How much do you think this bed weighs? Um, four or five hundred pounds, kind of what. I looked it up on the interweb earlier. Really. How does that look? Is that gonna stay in there? I like that. Yeah. Maybe too old for this. Now that the bed's off, I can show you a little bit better where they extended it. I mean, it's not the worst job in the world. They're not horrible welds, but they're not the greatest either. Not to mention that they extended it about an inch or two too long. So one way or the other, it was gonna have to be redone, fish plated, everything like that. So just another reason to step up to the F450 frame. We're gonna go ahead and pull these fenders off. They're kind of in the way. They're a little bit flimsy. Not sure how they're gonna sit on the new frame. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull them off right now. Yeah, I'm ratcheting. Look at me go. Whoa. Oh, that 
fenders are off. Now we're going to unbolt the cab and everything that's connected to the cab, rig it up, and then pull it off. So I got the shift linkage unhooked, and now I'm going to unhook the steering linkage so we can pull the cab off. It is a little weird to be out here and it's not snowing. <laughs> Didn't have to shovel snow for 20 minutes to have access to the truck. It's pretty wonderful. Okay, let's see if this thing will come apart. There we go. All right, steering's unhooked. Might need that. Now we're gonna go ahead and unhook the brakes, the rod that goes from the pedal up to the master cylinder so we can separate it from the cab. Why is your truck so hairy? Rotten cat that we saved from near certain death that thinks he needs to live in my truck. got to pull the shifter off. I think it's the last thing we got to do before we rig this up and start pulling it off. So we'll see if that's all. See if I miss something. Oh, there you go. I know how it works. This ain't my first day. Okay. Let's make some bad decisions. My straps are a little bit short, so we're gonna put this extension in here. These are the straps we use to pull off the Super Duty. So I know it'll work, they're just a little short. We're gonna try to figure out how to extend them with these tree savers. I got these tree savers here, they're about another well, six feet. So I hope this works. I'm gonna figure something out here, so. I need to be much, much taller. Okay, that's <laughs> That was awesome. That was great, huh? Uh, yeah. Don't fall. <laughs> now we just gotta figure out how to hook those two together. Don't jump off that, you probably break your ankle. Probably. Oh. <laughs> Alright, this is a horrible idea. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this jib off and spread the forks out. So I got a little bit more even tension on the straps, I guess. So anyway, we're gonna get this rigged up and see what it looks like. gonna be so happy. We got the cab off and the reason we set it over here on the lawn is because I want to tip it up on kind of on the back window as gently as possible and so we can paint underneath it and paint the firewall. That's the idea. I don't know this is sketchy but we're gonna give it a try. We'll be real gentle.
Your steering wheel fell off! You can see all the stuff that hit the back windshield, but did not break it. There's a can of something, and the steering wheel <laughs> hit it, but it did not break the glass, which is good, so success. Well, let's go check out the difference between the old frame and the new frame while they're both just sitting out here bare. <laughs> Didn't do any damage, too bad. Nah, it's good. So yeah, we're gonna prep this, we're gonna paint it. Um, it's gonna be quick and dirty, but we'll get it done. We got the bottom of the cab all prepped up, ready to go. At least as good as it's gonna get. It's far from perfect, but it's the bottom of the truck, who cares? So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. We're out here on the front lawn. We're not in the paint booth today, but it'll be good enough. Wind's blowing a little bit. It's not raining, so that's gonna be good enough. But we're gonna try a new, well, new to me paint technique. So we're gonna shoot it red. Yeah, that's the color of the truck. And then we're gonna shoot a little black on it, and then we're gonna wipe it off as best we can with some paint thinner. Um, I've seen this done before, kind of a patina, kind of a paint job. We're gonna give it a try, hopefully it works out. So what we're doing here is single stage. So this is how they did it back in the day. Like single stage uh, is good paint, lasts a long time. There's nothing wrong with single stage. I have seen guys clear coat over single stage. So I think it can be done. I've never done it. I've never even shot clear coat. It's kind of above my skill level. So this is basically single stage. We might clear it. I don't know, I kind of want a dull look. I really don't want it shiny. I want it to look old and faded. This is the look I'm kind of going for, so. I love that. <laughs> that might be too much. I don't know. That's not the same as the red Jeep. What color does it say it is? Red. Gloss wow, Sunrise Red. Damn. I love it. That's like a cherry. That intense red. A pretty red. That's the only red to have it sh on the shelf at Lowe's, so that's what we went with. You mean Walmart? <laughs> Walmart, Lowe's. <laughs> Actually, the paint is cheaper at Lowe's than it is anywhere else around here. Weird. So that's why we do Lowe's. You think it'll dry that bright? I'm curious. Curious to see when we mix it with the black what it'll look like. I think it'll look cool. If we hate it I guess it don't matter because it'll be the underneath side of the truck so whatever. <laughs>
this is all we're gonna get done tonight. It's starting to get dark and cold. The paint turned out really red, maybe too red, I don't know. But we're gonna spray some black on it tomorrow and kind of wipe it off and hopefully it kind of mellows it out and gives it a patina kind of look, but we'll see. But thank goodness this is the bottom. Worst case scenario, I'm just gonna shoot it black and call it good and it'll be the bottom of the truck. Tune in for the next episode, see how the paint job turns out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.